UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division battle. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight. Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Baldwin, New York, the cooler. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it fair. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Good punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Chucks. Oh, after a cut counter, that'll leave a mark. Oh, nice. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Big leg kick lands. Look at how he 
turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just missed with the left there. Blocks that kick to the body. Big call from Punch Lands. Now he gets back to range. Cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, huge knee to the head, perfectly timed and placed. Nice job elevating with those knees. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. Ooh, blocks the shot. Big kick land. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. He loaded up there on that high kick. Left punch is true. 15 seconds to go. Checks the leg kick. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, big head kick. Circling to his right. Oh, big left hook there. Massive head kick. Nice job of hiding that head kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Punch over the top. Overhand punch to the head, blocked though by Lee. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just misses there with the left. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? That was a thudding leg. Great kicks there. Leg kick checked nicely by Lee. 
Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. Oh, straight right. Oh, nice. Nice. 20 seconds to go round two. Collar tie here. Right hand punch from the clinch. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this he round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Good punch, land. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Trying to stay in this fight! So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well that he drops a big right hand after it. He may be able to finish his fight. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Whoa! the dominant position. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Just misses with the right. Nicely done to the body. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Oh, a huge block there. Man, doesn't 
didn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent very bad. Combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Blocks the shot. Beautiful punch. There's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 29 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.